In collecting material, I have obviously to organize it for the particular project I'm concerned with. But most research links from one project to another. Rarely do you have some blue sky thinking that starts a completely new strand. So I want always to be able to draw in the material I've collected from one project if it's relevant to another. The way I do this is partly through labeling the files that I keep in particular folders, giving them logical names and structures, and ensuring that they have some architecture, some overarching principles, so that if I'm working on property, for example, that it'll come within some context that's related to land or property or buildings. And if I'm working on people, then there'll be some connection through biography or through portraits or things of this kind so that I can link them. Finding things within these files is always a problem, particularly when there are thousands and thousands of files. I think actually on my PC when I back it up, I have 800,000 files. And therefore, finding things within that is really quite an important issue for me. Uh, I said PC, I should really have said Mac, because mostly I work on a Mac. And through using Spotlight or Find facilities, I'm fairly good at getting the right files that I'm looking for. Um, that doesn't always work, but the internal engine usually is quite a good backup for me when I'm looking for particular files or have some memory of the material I've collected. Of course, I can search on strings, I can search on names, I can search on the particular area that I'm working on, and usually I can get to the file that way, particularly when I can link this either to a period that I was doing the research or to a file suffix if it's got .xlx or docs.fm, which is the FileMaker database I use. So by these means, I can uh, manage to retrieve reasonably well material that I know that I have. And this is the case where, for example, with the mapping projects that I've been doing, moving into spatial analysis of data, I've been storing files related to mapping uh, of various kinds, maps themselves, uh, maps that I'm creating, uh, spatial information about addresses. All of this I try to keep in forms which I can recall through one of these techniques, file name, file format, suffix, using Spotlight on the Mac or a Finder utility to do so.